What are you doing? Careful. Yeah, you like that? Get it. Spin it. Spin it harder. Come on. Do it. Come on. What's up guys and welcome to the vlog. Today me and Noah are hanging out. It's about 3.30 right now. 3.43 actually. We are hanging out. Tracy, uh, she's having to deal with some personal stuff today. Um, so I'm home watching Noah so she can go tend to what she needs to tend to. Uh, she should be back hopefully, I don't know what time, maybe 6, maybe 7, sometime. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be me and Nono hanging out, ain't it, buddy? You like that? What is it with the purple thing? What do you like about the purple thing so much, huh? Careful. Careful. Oh, you done with that? Oh, going to go play with those. Okay. He keeps playing with this thing and he holds it with one end and he can't understand why he can't grab the other end and he just keeps doing it over and over. It's so hilarious. So we're just checking in. Say so it's about bottle time. Daddy's fixing me a bottle right now. We've just been hanging out. See, so I've been just playing. He's also been really interested in this area over here for some reason. I'm not sure why. Keeps going over there. But yeah, so we've just been hanging out, having fun, haven't we, buddy? Haven't we? You like it, huh? What? What is? Who is that? Okay. Yeah. We're going to get a bottle now, and then we'll check in here in a little bit, won't we? Okay. All right. So since today is so hectic with uh, just stuff going on, and I don't really have a lot to do, I made mention a while back of doing, I've done the 3x3 and the 4x4, so I thought... I would do a speed solve of the 5x5. Five five. So let's mix it up here. Uh, just something to do because I love cubing. You guys know that. Um, and I think these are pretty cool um, to do myself. I watch people solve cubes from time to time. Uh, it's interesting. And hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys will find this interesting as well. I love twisty puzzles, stuff like that, if you're new to the channel. Um, so yeah, let's give her a mix here. Keep on mixing, and we'll say she's good about right there. So there we go, nice and solved. Nice and solved, so let's see what we can do. So here we go, we're going to solve this cube, same as other cubes, uh, five by five can be a little bit difficult, but here we go. So first thing I do always solve the bottom white uh, center, always go with that one first. Uh, I'm not what they call color neutral when it comes to solving cubes. I always solve with the white um, on the bottom. Now, a lot of people know how to do it um, in a color neutral manner, uh, but uh, that is not me. So, and that is okay. One day I may work on it, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know when I will do that, but potentially one day, because I, I would like to be able to just solve uh, regardless. So, but uh, so the white side is done. Just finished the yellow side. Now we are moving on to the red center on the side. Um, gotta put that up, put that down. There's two reds done. So now we are gonna just gotta line these up. And boom, red done. Now we're on to the blue. Uh, this part moves pretty quickly. Uh, it's the part here in a second that I always struggle with, um, which you will see momentarily. So let's pop this up, pop that down. Just got one more side to go, and then the blue will be done. So I'm gonna pop this up, bring it down, and blue is done. So now we are on to the green. Um, green and orange. Let's see, I need this to go here. I need that to go there. Uh, this can get a little tedious because sometimes the centers uh, or the pieces don't line up exactly, but fortunately I know a little algorithm that can speed that up, which I just did. Um, boom, there we go. So those are done. Now here comes the part that I struggle on really badly, which is lining these up. And it's not that this is hard uh, as much as I just struggle to find the matching pieces. I'm talking pieces. I'm talking about solving the edge pieces um, because I need, like, for example, white and red. I need another white and red. All right, that actually happened to just work out good. So now those are done. But now you have to match three of those, and that, uh, there it is. So um, it's something I struggle with, and I wish I didn't, but I do. 
and that's okay. Uh, and then after this, honestly, it's pretty easy. It honestly uh, kind of just becomes solving a big three by three once you get past this segment. Um, the other thing is this can have what is called parity, um, which is where the QBs will end in a uh, pattern that you have to know how to basically move just those two pieces um, or else it will not solve. So uh, that we'll see if parity happens on this one. Not sure if it will, it's kind of hit or miss. Not really any rhyme or reason as to why it hits. So uh, this is moving actually, not jinxing myself here, but this is moving uh, a little bit smoother than I thought it would, which is awesome. So we're getting down to it. Let's see, I need green. Boom, green and yellow right here. If that is red, those are good, so I don't need to do that one. Let's do this one. And now I need one more green, yellow right there. Pop those over, and there. So we're we're getting there. Now I just need uh, green and red, green and red, green and red. So that side is done, two greens. Now I need one more. I'm gonna pop that up over. Oh, whoa, not what I needed. That was almost bad. Oh, don't need to do that either. Pop that down. There we go. We're getting closer and closer. Red, orange. Uh, yeah. This is, okay. Drop the cube. Pop these over. It's taking a little longer than I wanted to on this part, but actually, I don't know. I say that, and it's actually going a little smoother than uh, what I thought it would. So red, orange, perfect. So now we just got to flip these two which is a little, okay. Algorithm like that, pop, and now, now I have to, I ran into both forms of parity on that. What dumb luck. Uh, that sucks, but there's one solved. Now we gotta flip these over. Of course, when I'm trying to uh, speed solve, it would do that, but it is okay there we go so now all the corners edge pieces all that stuff is solved it now we break this down and solve it as if it is a three by three we're gonna make the cross on the bottom so let's make the cross just like that now we need the blue to go here and then we need green here so there's the cross on the bottom that i was talking about now we got to plug in the corner pieces here let's flip that one throw it there Blue and orange right there, green and orange right there, red and green, We've got to flip it over and then boom goes there. So now we got to enter these pieces here, and again this is the same exact pattern uh, that you would solve your standard Rubik's on, um, it basically, basically as you're solving these bigger cubes, you're solving every portion that you can to basically break it down to a big three by three. So getting, okay, almost messed up there. And that's all good. So now there's this, one more of these and the top will be solved. Just like, oh, my timer went off, that sucks. Uh, all right, and close to finished. Pop it around, green. Now we just gotta do one more algorithm and we should be good. Six minutes. Okay, it didn't stop. Of course it didn't. It was six minutes and six seconds. So it's six minutes, nine seconds, fully solved. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to work on that, man. So uh, the, what I was talking about is basically uh, when you're solving the edge pieces, which are the center pieces right here, um, when you're trying to make the larger cube, is you can run into parity. And what'll happen is sometimes. You can have um, all the edges solved, but this piece and this piece will need to switch sides, and you have to know an algorithm literally to switch just those two pieces. And then the other thing that can happen is, let me actually show you just by messing it up. You can have them, you can have the cubes end like this. You can have it to where they end like this. See how? Uh, that is obviously the green, they need to be flipped. So you have to know um, an algorithm to flip just those two pieces. So um, I do prefer um, 
I do prefer odd number cubes uh, because even with parity, they're just a touch easier and they're just more fun to me. Even number cubes, there's all kinds of parity, um, and that's super easy to fix on these, so not a big deal. But uh, yeah, that is the 5x5 five five cube. I hope you enjoyed that. Today, like I said, perfect day to do that since had some other stuff going on. Uh, and perhaps, I don't know if I'll do a 6x6. Six six, like, I, I, I want the 6x6 six six to be fun, but it's not for me. I don't know why, it just isn't. Uh, but maybe uh, maybe next time, like if I have a super busy day or something, I'll do a solve on my 7x7, seven seven, and then I hope to go, go up and get like an 8, probably not an 8x8. Eight eight. I might just skip the even number cubes. I hate to be that way, but I might just go right into a 9x9. Nine nine. But uh, yeah, there it is. So yeah, I am going to leave the video there. Tracy is home. We're going to hang out, I think watch just a little bit of TV and stuff, and I'm obviously going to edit this, get it up for you guys. Do you have any things like this? Like, obviously, I vlog and stuff like that. Just some days it might be a little tough. Do you have any suggestions or things you would like to see on days when I maybe don't have a whole lot of vlog material, topics of interest, anything like that? Let me know down below, and I will consider putting those into uh, the daily videos and whatnot. So, but guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's cube solving, uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow.